The best tablet for your needs can be tricky to find, regardless of whether you're looking to outfit the kids with cheap, durable tablets for school or just want a beautiful iPad to keep near the couch. That's because there are so many tablets with different prices and features these days, which is why we maintain this regularly updated list of the best tablets around, based on our hands-on testing. We can help you find the right tablet because we review the best from all the major manufacturers every year. We test them in our lab and in the real world, and we've come to a few key conclusions about the best tablets out there. Amazon tablets are generally great for kids and anyone on a tight budget, for example, while Apple's iPads are best for students and creative pros. That's especially true now that an M2 chip powers Apple's latest iPad Air, while the powerhouse M4 chip drives the latest iPad Pro. While most tablets are fine for browsing the web, reading books, or watching movies, Apple's new iPads are so powerful, they can almost replace your laptop. We have listed the top five best tablet 2024, and there are key features you need to consider this to help you choose the best one for you. For more information on the product, as always, I've included a link in the description box down below, which are updated with the best prices on each product. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Now let's get started. Number five, Lenovo Tab M10 Plus Gen 3. The Lenovo Tab M10 Plus Gen 3, starting at 189, is a no-frills 10-inch Android tablet for folks on a budget. It's a well-built slate with astonishing battery life and great cameras. Unfortunately, its middling performance disappoints. But if you're just looking for a cheap tablet to watch streaming content and read books, this device serves that purpose. When compared to the best Android tablets, the Tab M10 Plus falls short. But overall, it's a pretty good slate, especially for kids or those looking for something more affordable than the iPad. Here are the pros and cons in my full Lenovo Tab M10 Plus review. The Lenovo Tab M10 Plus Gen 3 starts at 189 on Lenovo's website. This model has a 10.6-inch 2K 2000X1200 display, a MediaTek Helio G80 CPU, 3GB of RAM, and 32GB of storage. The tablet also comes with Android 12 installed. For 210, you can get the Tab M10 Plus with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. This is the model we tested and reviewed. The Tab M10 Plus is a modest tablet featuring an elegant aluminum alloy unibody design with a dual tone finish. It comes in either storm gray or frost blue. I like the storm gray color of our review unit, though the frost blue looks striking as well. Despite its thin profile, it's a sturdy slate. The tablet has a profile of 6.25 x 989 x 0.29 inches and a weight of 1.03 pounds. Because it's so light, the Tab M10 is comfortable to hold for extended periods of time, this also makes the Slate an unobtrusive travel device. For comparison, the ninth generation iPad weighs 1.07 pounds. There's a power button located on the top of the M10 Plus, along with two volume buttons and a micro SD slot on the right side. Quad speakers adorn the top and bottom. You'll find the front camera about halfway down the left side, which places it in the top center when you rotate the tablet to landscape mode. Number four, Google Pixel Tablet. When one company like Apple so thoroughly dominates the tablet market, how do you make your device stand out? In the case of the Google Pixel Tablet, 499, it's by literally including a stand. The Google Pixel Tablet not only undercuts the 10th generation iPad by $50, but it also adds a unique charging dock that also boosts the tablet's audio capabilities and turns it into a smart home hub of sorts. The Pixel Tablet is also powered by Google's Tensor G2 chip, the same processor that's used in the company's flagship phones, which enables some neat features, such as photo editing and speech recognition. But before you go out and drop $500, you'll want to read the rest of my Google Pixel Tablet review and how it stacks up to some of the best tablets on the market. The Google Pixel Tablet was first introduced at Google I.O. 2023. It was available for pre-order as of May 10th and is widely available as of June 20th. The tablet is offered with two storage sizes. A $4999 model has 128 gigabyte of storage, while a 5399 model has 256 gigabyte of storage. Both versions have 8 GB of RAM, but there's no memory card slot, so the storage you choose is the storage you're stuck with. Both models are available in porcelain, hazel, or rose, and include one charging dock. Additional charging docks cost $129 a piece. If you're planning on traveling with the Pixel Tablet, Google is selling the Pixel Tablet case accessory, 79, which has a handy metal stand that folds out from the back and makes it easy to prop the tablet on a table. Aside from the case, Google doesn't offer any other accessories for the Pixel Tablet. The fact that it's launching without a keyboard or stylus is a curious decision, considering its main Android rivals all ship with a keyboard case. Then again, given our lukewarm feelings on both the Galaxy Tab 8s and the OnePlus Pad's keyboards, maybe omitting this might be the right call. Number 3. Microsoft Surface Pro Neuve 
we already reviewed the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 SQ3 tablet with the company's custom ARM-based processor, admiring its built-in 5G connectivity and extra-long battery life, but not its lackluster performance and app compatibility issues. The Intel-based Microsoft Surface Pro 9 starts at 999, starting at 99, 1,78.98, as tested with a Core i7 CPU, Signature Keyboard, and Slim Pen 2, is the opposite. It doesn't include 5G and can't last as long off the plug, but its superior performance and compatibility make this Surface a better fit for most buyers. This Intel-based Surface Pro 9 is a technology refresh of the Surface Pro 8 now packing Intel's 12th generation core chips. The only other way it differs from its predecessor is by the unfortunate loss of its headphone jack, but that's not enough to stop the Surface Pro 9 from taking our editor's choice honors among high-end Windows tablets. Expensive it may be, especially with upgrades and must-have accessories, but no other Windows tablet comes close to challenging Microsoft's level of polish and engineering. High-end Windows tablets typically run $750 and up, with the performance and features to double as, or replace, a traditional laptop. Microsoft's Surface Pro has always been one of our favorites, though it has become much more expensive in the last two generations. Competition, meanwhile, has grown scarce. Neither the Lenovo ThinkPad X12 detachable nor the Dell Latitude 7320 detachable has been updated with Intel's 12th gen processors, leaving just the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 tablet to fend off Microsoft's best. Intel-based Surface Pro 9 models come with either the Core i5 and 1235U or the Core i7 to 1255U CPU, the latter capable of slightly higher clock speeds and equipped with faster integrated graphics. Either laptop-grade chip pairs with 8GB or 16GB of memory but you'll need to step up to the shockingly expensive $2,599 Core i7 configuration to get 32 GB. Number two, Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra needs to be perfect to justify its high price tag, and it somehow manages to exceed expectations. It's the best large Android tablet, and it holds its own against the iPad Pro in everything except pro-level music and video editing. Multitasking is a breeze, and Samsung has been doing productivity on Android so long it makes other tablet makers look amateurish, even Google and Lenovo. If you love big screens and want a friendlier productivity tool than a laptop, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra will amaze enthusiasts and please diehard fans alike. If you need a big tablet, you won't find anything better than the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, and that's by design. Samsung has been polishing and refining its tablets and productivity software longer than any other tablet maker, even Apple. There are some limitations that keep this from being a total laptop replacement. Those are mostly Android's fault, and the accessories should be much more polished. Still, the tablet itself is almost perfect in every way, and if you can afford this big Ultra, you'll be happy every time you use it. Choosing a huge Android tablet is a commitment, especially if this is going to be your primary productivity tool. You can definitely make it work, and there are not many limitations that keep Android and all of its apps from replacing a Windows or Mac OS machine, and certainly a Chromebook. Still, you can also get a 15-inch MacBook Air, M2, for around the same price. And powerful as it is, the Tab S9 Ultra's Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip can't compete with a desktop-class processor. There are some areas where the Tab S9 Ultra can't keep up with the hardware and its big Android competitor, the Lenovo Tab Extreme. But the software and features are so much easier to use that I would pick the Samsung over its rival any day. Number 1. Apple 12.9-inch iPad Pro the iPad Pro is Apple's premier tablet. The professional grade slate, starting at $1,099 for the 12.9 inch model, is the most powerful in Apple's iPad stable, which also includes the standard iPad, $449, the iPad Mini, $499, and the iPad Air, $599. All four tablets carry the same basic design, meaning it's what's on the inside that sets them apart, and the Pro has the ultimate spec sheet. For 2022, Apple primarily upgrades the iPad Pro's processor with its laptop grade M2 chip. While the fresh silicon does boost the tablet's speed and enable some new video capabilities, nearly every other aspect of the Pro has been carried over from the previous model. The iPad Pro is a capable MacBook alternative for creatives, but the iPad Air offers new features and performance at a more budget price, and thus remains our editor's choice iPad for creators. The iPad Pro comes in two sizes, one with an 11-inch screen starting at 799 and one with a 12.9-inch screen starting at 1099 Whichever one you pick, the iPad Pro's basic design is now in its fourth generation, with little changing on the exterior since the outline first debuted in 2018. This review is based on the 12.9-inch model. Apple has crafted compelling hardware with a large, high-resolution glass display and an impossibly thin aluminum chassis. 
Both the 11-inch Pro and 11-inch Air measure 9.74 by 7.02 by 0.23 inches HWD and weigh 1.03 pounds, while the 12.9-inch model stretches to 11.04 by 8.46 by 0.25 inches HWD and 1.5 pounds. The former fits well into mid-size bags and maybe even some purses, while the latter requires a larger messenger bag, briefcase, or backpack to tote about. Either way, you get a tablet of superior design and quality that's surprisingly light.